a very important aspect of that discussion was when Dr. Lemke described the pleasure pain balance, literally the circuits in our brains that control our sense of pleasure and pain, and ultimately whether or not we remain happy in our pursuit of pleasure or not. This is an absolutely crucial aspect to the way that we function in everyday life and especially under conditions of mood disorders. The pathway that she was describing is the so-called pleasure system. However, what most people don't realize is that the pleasure system is also directly associated with, and in fact, is the very same system that modulates mental or psychological anguish and pain. Essentially, what she described is that whenever we pursue something that we think will bring us pleasure, and that could be anything that we think will bring us pleasure, from food to video games to sex to a particular job or goal, short-term or long-term, that we experience release of the neuromodulator dopamine. Now, dopamine is associated with increased levels of motivation and drive. It is not the molecule of reward. It is the molecule of craving, motivation, and drive. However, as Dr. Lemke pointed out, when we are in pursuit of something, there is a release of dopamine in our brain. That makes us feel motivated, and in general, it makes us feel good. But very shortly thereafter, and beneath our conscious awareness, there is a tilt of the pleasure-pain balance in the brain, literally a shift in the neural circuits that underlie pleasure and pain, such that every bit of pleasure or pleasure-seeking that causes release of dopamine will be balanced out by a little bit of pain. And we don't experience this as physical pain, at least not at first, we experience it as craving for more of the thing that brought us pleasure. Now that sounds pretty good. You get pleasure and then you get a little bit of pain to balance it out. It's subconscious and you experience it as the desire to seek out more pleasure. However, it's actually more diabolical than that. And we really need to keep an eye on this if we are to remain happy, if we are to remain in pursuit of our goals. The crucial thing to understand is that if we remain in constant pursuit of pleasure, the pain side of the balance tips so that each time we are in pursuit of that pleasureful thing, activity, or substance, we are going to experience, we literally achieve less dopamine release each subsequent time. So we get less pleasure and the amount of craving increases.